Hello and welcome to Marlow and Marcus Garage. Today we stray a bit from our Honda Shadow project and get right back onto the D-Cross projects. As you can see, it's been um, the paint's been holding up pretty good, although it doesn't look that good. So the, basically all the parts that have been painted will need to be repainted, but that's not the point. Um, what I want to work on today is uh, the front brake caliper, caliper and exactly how to fix the front brake caliper on a derby sender. So um, what happened is that I found out that uh, I have a blown o-ring and uh, a blown o-ring means means it's leaking oil and if it's leaking oil it's bad so let's get straight into it and change that blown o-ring so first things first is just screwing out the brake caliper yes good doggy good doggy my dog is helping me today so we tighten them quite a lot so they might be a bit tricky to get out but that's not the point need them to be out and that's it. Also Andrew is gonna go and uh, do this in you know double speed or triple speed because you know how you know screws look like And there we go, the caliper is out of the bike. Now it's a matter of screwing out these two fellas. I'm gonna try to do it on camera, it's gonna be a bit hard, but <coughs> everything for the sake of my viewers. As you can see, brake fluid is starting to leak which is normal and it is to be expected now once you've got the brake caliper out the banjo screw will leak quite a lot of uh, brake fluid but there is a way to avoid mass spillage and that is not to open um, the the master cylinder the master cylinder when this is you know happening and that is because of if you have uh, the master cylinder closed it will give uh, negative pressure and keep a lot of oil inside and yeah you will lose some oil but that is to be expected so now when we've got the caliper out, it's time to put it on the table and start to just uh, work it. So um, I'll see you on the table. Alright, as you can see, here is the brake caliper. This is a no, this is not a genuine uh, derby brake caliper, but it is pretty much brand new. I bought it this year. To replace the genuine one which was totally toast um, and uh, well this one didn't seem to be that bad I mean the, the caliper itself is alright but the, it seems that the seals that they used are total crap oh I used some manpower in that oh there we go 
So now this is the last screw. Uh, all the caliper, but it's actually ne necessary to, you know, put the caliper uh, back together and you know, just uh, take it into pieces. And there we go. This little thing right here, this is where the seal needs to go. And currently, I have this seal, which is not the actual size of it. As you can see, it's a lot smaller than it should be. And thus, it's still leaking fluid. And we need to do something about it. Unfortunately, and I did say fortunately, not unfortunately, uh, I have bought a... One second, please. whole pack of o-rings uh, so I can you know exactly find out the size that's necessary I know what 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 the size I know the size that I need basically and that is uh, 10 millimeter outer diameter which is which should be this one I think I'm not 100 percent sure but I'm Pretty sure about it. So, do come on, undo this. So the second one goes here. All right. So now, if I take, I think this O-ring. I think it's ten millimeters in diameter. And I put it, and I'll also if I manage to grab it with these lovely gloves on, and I put it right in here. What do you say? Because I think it fits perfectly. And then you just gently give it a bit of a shove in there. So it sits there nicely. Very, very good. Also, let's hope that these um, o rings they can uh, survive the brake oil because a lot of the rubber stuff gets dissolved with brake oil. Actually, brake oil is genuinely very harmful to materials. If you, like by mistake, splatter a bit on your paint of some part of your motorcycle it's going to get destroyed uh, and I'm saying that out of you know personal experience not just motorcyclist knowledge uh, but all right the o-ring is uh, back on its place and that's we can put this part here which is the second half of the brake caliper back on as you can see right here we've got the uh, brake pads we don't need to take them out right now because it's unnecessary. Also, I've cleaned this uh, a couple weeks ago when I found out that I was had a I had a leaky uh, leaky brake caliper. There we go. These little spring things are back on its place, which are they are very important because they hold the brake pads on. As you can see, everything is lo looking good together uh, and now it's just a matter of screwing. Uh, I usually do this screw first and that's just because uh, these two uh, you have to have them out in order to put it back on the bike. So then we get back on screwing. We don't screw it too tightly, we don't want it to be 100% tight because uh, that should be done when it's on the bike. So it's still pretty loose and that's good, that's how it's supposed to be. 
Now we go back onto the bike. The caliper is back on and now it's time to bleed the brakes. Meaning you have to let out a bit of oil to basically just dump all, all of the air out of the brake system. So basically making the brakes work. And that's exactly what we are going to do now. I'm going to try to show you how to bleed the brakes. Uh, it's pretty easy, usually easiest with two people, but you can do it with one, with one person as well, no problem. So let's go. Let's get right into it. So bre bleeding brakes is relatively easy. There are two steps involved. One is making sure you've got uh, you're ready to open up this little nipple right here, which is used for just this bleeding your brakes, and you've got your master cylinder open and full of brake oil. So like brake fluid, it's the same thing basically. So what you do is you start gently pressing on the brake lever and then open up the little nipple and you tighten it back down and you let out the brake lever and make sure that you are losing brake fluid in your master cylinder if not there is something wrong with it and also make sure that after you've done bleeding, you refill your uh, master cylinder because the level of it is going to go drastically down. Also, during the first two days of riding, the, the oil level will get lower and lower. That is nothing to be afraid of. It's completely natural, as long as it's not like half a, half you know of, a, of the, the oil tank at once. But little by little, it's going to get pressed down to the lines so after two days you should refill it again and then you should be pretty much fine and you just repeat this a couple of times until you see no air bubbles or gaps between oil gushes from the, the little nipple uh, and then uh, you should just start pumping pumping the brake lever just keep it, keep it pumping um, that way you will uh, eventually have the brakes fully functioning. Also an important part of it is once you feel like the brakes are on a proper level, remember to test them. And you test them by pushing them in as much as you can and holding them for 5 seconds. And checking out if they are letting go or not. And that's the key to leading your brakes. So basically the uh, brake is fixed, I am pushing it hard and I see no leaking over there, which is exactly what I wanted, perfect pretty much. So uh, this was a quick tutorial on how to fix a leaking front or rear brake caliper uh, and especially if you are pretty sure that it's the, the o-ring that is uh, feeding the oil from one part of the caliper to the second part. Uh, so, uh, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, there will be more coming soon. And um, go ahead and like us, subscribe us, leave a comment, stuff like that. And as always, keep on riding.